Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and happy hashtag Tea Tuesday, an open collab hosted by our friends Patty at Life with Patty and Kathy at Kathy's Favorite Things. And today I'm drinking water in this super cute cup that um, one of my friends uh, made for me on her Cricut when she first got her Cricut. So this, when I first got this cup, um, I thought, oh, it probably doesn't hold that much water, but actually it holds one full bottle of water. Um, 16 ounces, I guess that is, a regular, you know, size bottle of water. So anyway, it is going to be a hot day today. And last week I was in Denver and the weather got up to like maybe 86 or um, 87. But then I came back to Clovis and it is over 100 degrees. So um, I'm not really trying to go out or anything, just staying inside. I have some, you know, stuff to do. I have plenty of stuff to do here. So either in my craft room or around my house or whatever. So one of my girlfriends um, called me last night and she said, oh no, she said, I went and did too much yesterday and I was outside too much and I have a bad headache and I don't feel good. And I said, you better just rest because she's leaving to Hawaii on Friday. <laughs> So, um, so she needs to get some rest. So I'm going to share a few things, um, with you this morning and maybe include a couple of VRs, but this is, um, a happy mail. I think that I just got, it's a thank you, um, card that actually I got while I was gone. So I'm going to share that in a minute, but, um, Rosemary, Rosemary's you rock is having a three year anniversary challenge, three years on YouTube. And so she wants, um, us to send her a decorated three by five card. Well, the thing is, is that the first video that she made, Rosemary, <laughs> said that she wanted a four by six card. She actually has a, um, a container that she is going to put all these cards in that she got, um, I think at a thrift store or something. And so, um, anyway, so I'd made the four by six card already before I left. And then, um, when I got back, I made a new card, <laughs> three by five, and I included both of them in here. And so anyway, so this envelope is going to get some postage and that's going to get mailed out today. And then this card came from our sweet Raina at Lilo Crafts. Hi Raina. So Raina, um, sent this card and I know it's a thank you for entering her challenge because I was watching a video and do you know that she sent out already 42 maybe more by now because this is a week or so old um, that I received this um, 42 thank you cards that she handmade by herself wrote out a note sweet everything so and she has so many more to go because I think she's already had like over 70 entries or something so anyway Raina you're amazing you're amazing and uh, I am just looking forward to getting together with Raina at some point because uh, Raina lives like 10 minutes away from my sister <laughs> down in Orange County so um, look how cute this is look at what she did that flap like that and it just says hi Kim thank you so much for being such an uplifting and kind person uh, you're so sweet thank you for helping me celebrate my birthday and YouTube anniversary I love the travel theme of your entry the mini album is so fun and all the coordinating tags and embellishments are amazing I can't believe in, you even found a travel theme Starbucks gift card <laughs> Yes, I did. I'm always on the lookout for them. I really appreciate the time and care you poured into your gift. You are amazing. Thank you, Raina and Lilo Crafts. That is so sweet. And then look at this. She sent me today's prayer and says, With God, all things are possible from the Gospel of Matthew. And yes, they are, Raina. Look at this sweet little envelope she made in black and white. And ooh, there's some fun little goodies in here. You know what? I always think it's so amazing when people have challenges. I mean, I've never had a challenge. I don't even, it's not even on my radar. I don't know. Maybe one time in my lifetime I will, but I'm always amazed. You know, it's a lot of work. Uh, it just looks like a lot of work. And people have said it's a lot of work. You know, you receive your gifts, you share them, you make the videos. And then on top of it to send thank yous. I just think that's really, um, really amazing. And look at these beautiful pieces. T can't fix this kind of tired. <laughs> that's funny. I've never seen these. These are really cute. Maybe you printed these. Delightful, kind, charming, sweet, caring, lovely, cherished girl. <laughs> That's sweet. Uniquely you. These are so fun. And you know I will definitely use them. You know, and I'm definitely going to be using this envelope as well. That's so cute. So thank you so much, Raina. And guys, um, I will post uh, the video that she shared um, what I sent her because I don't think I did a video of it before I mailed out to her. 
I don't think. Anyway, um, so go over and visit Raina if you are not already subbed to her channel. She is just so lovely. She's a wonderful friend to so many people, so crafty and creative, and um, I'm so happy to be her friend here on YouTube and hopefully in person one day soon. All right. All right, so let me take a drink of water because I am thirsty right here. Oh, what I didn't tell you was that in this water, I have um, some Propel powder mix. It's the orange flavor, which is the immune immunity um, powder, I think it is. Um, I did find another one too, the other Propel. It's the blueberry, and that is electrolytes. So, um, you know, when I go visit my grandchildren, they're sniffling and coughing and sneezing sometimes, and um, you know, lots of germs floating around. So I don't wanna come back sick from um, from Denver, so. Okay, so, um, sharing it from cheap to chic is having an MDC challenge. It could already be closed by this time. I don't even know. I'm so late on so many things, but I have them written down in my book, and um, you know, I wanna make stuff for, for, and I wanna send them out to support your challenges, so even if I'm late, it's okay, just, you know, ignore it. <laughs> anyway, so um, here is the MDC that I made for her, um, the Memdex card. I actually don't have this punch. This was actually sent to me either by Patty or Karen. I can't remember who sent this to me, one of you two um, fun friends. And so I have a couple of them. I have another one over here, actually, too, that I'm going to be um, using to create for a friend. I wish I had a Memdex punch, um, but I don't, but th that's okay. And this one has little butterflies that you can see. And then somebody sent me this. It says Paper Hugs. I don't have that die cut either. And that is so amazing. And um, then I just put this little piece of ephemera, which I inked around, and then put this um, gold doily in the back just to bring out that gold, and then put these fun little um, flat back jemmies right there, and then my um, information is on the back. So I'm going to send that out. I'm going to put that in a, you know, wrap it up in a bag and probably put a bag topper on it just to make it look cute um, to send to Sharon. And then she also asked for um, just some other, you know, crafter's choice, something or other. And I am just loving making these, you know, junk journals, and um, this one. I've been wanting to make one out of a paper bag, just a regular old paper bag, just like, you know, lunch bag. What are they? Seven by five or something? It's up like this. And then, um, you know, I just sewed that right there as a closure. I didn't put any extra paper or anything inside of it because I just kind of wanted to keep it flat because I'm just going to be sitting, um, you know, mailing this out from my house with, you know, a little bit of postage on it. And so what I did was after I cut the bag, um, the size I wanted it, and then I just started, you know, putting on the paper, you know, and I use this, it's Jen Hadfield um, paper, if you can, um, you know, probably know that. And then I did use um, some music paper right here just to make it a little bit different, right? And then just little pieces of ephemera right here that I had fussy cut out already. And then just a little, um, you know, piece cut apart right there. That's the back. And then um, on the front, I just put this little... I just put this little belly band here and then um, just covered this little tag and then added that little ribbon up there. And then, um, you know, just added some little ephemera here. These are some cut apart pieces. Oh, I did add another little music um, paper right there. Made this little pocket right here. And then, um, you know, just left a little open space for her. So then added this trim right here. I'm loving this trim. I don't know where I got this trim because I just love that teal color with the gold. That's so pretty. And um, this was, I had like, after I cut this off, I had about this much left, about two inches. And I saved it. Of course I did. <laughs> so, but I'm going to be on the lookout for that. And then on the inside, I just um, stuck some little goodies for her in there. And then that's it. So I'm just going to fold this up like this. And then just left the front a little blank right there I was gonna put her name on here but I don't think I will so um, anyway I'm just gonna wrap these two things up and get those you know into some semi sort of flat mail and get those sent out to her to Sharon at from cheap to chic and then I'm gonna be working on there's some other um, birthday cards and challenges that I need to um, work on today but I have a presentation that I'm doing on Thursday we have a new superintendent of schools that is um, new to our diocese here 
and um, she's actually a friend of mine and so she called me and asked me if I would present um, to their preschool teachers. They're having a back to school workshop and she wants me to present on social emotional development in early childhood. And so um, I said, of course I will. <laughs> so um, they are having a workshop. It's from like nine to three on Thursday. So I've been working on that, working on the PowerPoint, working on the activities and some fun little things for that. So I need to finish that up today, get ready for um, Thursday. And um, last night we had a meeting for our festival um, because I coordinate our church festival along with the wonderful team of other people. So there was about six of us on the um, Zoom meeting last night as we prepare for our October fall festival. So um, yeah, <laughs> my life is never ending. There is always something to do, but you know what? Making time to be in my craft room brings me joy. So this is where I am this morning. And then I will head out, uh, head over to my office down the hall <laughs> and start working on some other things. I have to make some phone calls and some stuff too. So I hope you're having a very productive day and week. And then if you have heard on the news, there's absolutely terrible fires that are happening in Yosemite and around Yosemite, which is just about an hour and a half away from my house. And so it's terrible. Um, there, we're getting smoke from that fire, as well as I'm sure other, um, you know, friends here that live in California up north are as well. So um, we just need to pray for everyone that is helping to contain that fire keep them safe. Thanks for stopping by and thank you to all of my new subscribers and people that have just left me such wonderful comments and encouraging comments. So I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.